The entire conversation about Colin Kaepernick has been, he's not good enough, he's too big of a distraction, he doesn't care about football. Okay, so let's just go ahead and knock all three of those out in one clean swoop. He's not good enough. If he goes out and balls out on Saturday on short notice for a workout that he said he's been preparing for for three years, if he balls out, okay, so he is good enough. He's a distraction. Well, that's going to be no matter where he goes. Just like Tim Tebow was a distraction, just like Johnny Manziel was a distraction, just like all these, a distraction is something in the NFL that people try to avoid as much as possible. Be who you can afford to be is a statement that gets said all the time. Tim Tebow wasn't getting jobs because he was a backup quarterback level talent, and anytime he came somewhere, Tebow mania came. Was that Tebow's fault? No, not Tim Tebow's fault. Tim Tebow, well, I mean, kind of. I mean, I feel like Tim Tebow did not shy away from it. He didn't help himself at all. Yeah, he didn't shy away from it. But anything Tim Tebow did back in the day, and I guess currently anytime he does anything, there was a firestorm around him. Goes to the Jets, firestorm. Goes to the Patriots even. With Tom Brady, greatest player of all time, greatest coach of all time, there's still Tebow mania. So team said, listen, we don't want our backup quarterback bringing this much distraction to a team because it's already hard enough to win a football game in the NFL. We don't need all this other BS. We don't need our players answering questions about Tim Tebow whenever they should be focusing on defense and offense, and Tim Tebow isn't even going to play. That's what everybody said about Tim Tebow. Now, right, wrong, or indifferent, that's just how the NFL olds feel about it. It's hard to win a game. Why would you add more distractions to a locker room? Johnny Menzel, obviously. Obviously, same thing. Now, granted, I think Tebow was a better quarterback in the NFL than Johnny Menzel. I'd agree. That is a wild statement to make publicly, and I just did that. Won a playoff game. Oh, yeah. Completed one pass, won a playoff game. Yeah. (laughs) That was a big-time slant. By the way, perfectly tossed to Demarius Smith. Thomas. Thomas. Yep, you get it. Demarius Thomas. (laughs) Touchdown. See you later. Stillers go home, How dare beat you guys by Tim Tebow. Talk about this with Ike Taylor coming on the show. I agree. I agree. We shouldn't have brought it up. It was just a talk about distractions. Colin Kaepernick took a stand for something that, to be honest, needed to be stood up for. A conversation had to happen. There was such a gap in our society and views between how things were going and how things weren't going for different people. Colin Kaepernick takes a knee. It becomes the topic of conversation for an entire couple years. He becomes the most influential man in sports because of this. He generates a conversation starter by taking a knee during the national anthem that got spun in two polar opposite PR directions and became him becoming the most polarizing figure in sports while also being one of the most influential humans walking. Generated a conversation to take care of uh, our struggling communities that we have in America. How African Americans are being treated in America. Generated a lot of money from the Players Coalition Fund that he saw none of, but he helped generate, helped create this. Made a positive difference in the world through doing something that a lot of people hated to see. That's a tough thing to do as a human. Now granted, stand for something even if you have to sacrifice everything happened to Colin Kaepernick. The NFL got him out of there. He got cut. Now, granted, his last couple games as a quarterback in the NFL were not great, which has always been the people, what people say that hate Colin Kaepernick. Like, well, he wasn't even good at quarterback. He has to be better than this guy, Jeff Driscoll. He has to be better than this guy. Who's the guy playing? Falk? He has to be better than that guy. That conversation has been said over and over and over again. And I would assume those people were accurate. He did have to be better than them, but he also brought a big-time distraction. And NFL teams that are looking and playing with bad quarterbacks don't need another distraction brought. So although he changed the world and he helped a lot of people out, the NFL said, we are done with this. Even though we're going to put money into a coalition, we're going to put money into communities, we're done with this. So now, three years later, after a lot of things have happened, lawsuits, libel, slander, you name it, things have been said, a workout happens. And all anybody is saying Not anybody, but a lot of people are saying, oh, this is just a PR stunt. This is just a PR stunt. I don't know why the NFL would do a PR stunt a week before Thanksgiving, three years after something, so I don't fully understand that. I think what this was was some teams wanted to sign Colin Kaepernick or work out Colin Kaepernick. So they called the NFL and said, hey, can we work out Colin Kaepernick, which is damning to the NFL, by the way, because I think in the the NFL, if a free agent wants to be signed, you could sign a free agent. So the thought that – now, this is not a factual statement. This is just my opinion, which is what I give my opinion. I think a couple teams have called the NFL saying, hey – 
Are we allowed to work out Colin Kaepernick? We are in dire need. Do you hear what these people are saying? He's better than this. He's better than this. We think he is too. Can we work him out? And the NFL is like, oh, we'll get back to you. Put a pin in it. We'll circle back. Put a pin in it. We'll circle back. So now the NFL is like, well, we've got enough requests. Let's see if we can just put a workout together. It's going to be this Saturday. Well, can we move it to another, another Saturday? No, Colin, this is on our terms. Can we move it to Tuesday when all the other workouts are? No, Colin, this is on our terms. The NFL had to institute its power over Colin Kaepernick because it's Colin, Colin Kaepernick who's trying to get into their business. You've got to remember, I've said this before, it's their sandbox. Whether you like it or not, it's their sandbox. You have to play by their rules, just the way it goes. In everything, whenever you're working for a company, you have to play by their rules. That's why you choose not to sign contracts if you don't want to play by those people's rules. So now it's said, oh, it's this PR fodder. This is just a bunch of, just a load of malarkey, a lot of people are saying. Well, if I'm Colin Kaepernick and I really want to get back in the NFL, which has been something that people say he doesn't, he doesn't want to get back in the NFL. He just wants to be a hero. He wants to do this. He wants to do that. Well, now you've got a short week. Who knows if you're in game shape? And he could potentially be on a roster by next week. He said he expects to see NFL coaches and GMs there. That's not going to happen. Saturday is a rough day to get coaches and GMs in a place in the middle of the season. Maybe a couple bye weeks. Maybe they'll be able to show up. But it's going to be filmed for every other team. There's going to be a lot of interested people. People that you don't think could potentially be interested, they're going to want to see it just to see what Colin Kaepernick... There was people that came and worked me out that weren't looking for me. They just wanted to see what I was whenever I go into the league. You work out players all the time. You, you could have the 10th pick in the draft, but you want to go see and talk to the number one overall pick that you know. And it's like, well, why are you doing this? Well, it's because I just want to learn more about him so when we play him i know more about him mm -hmm. it's just something that the nfl does everybody's going to watch this colin kaepernick workout tape colin kaepernick knows that and i hope he shows up and shows out i hope he gets on a team and uh, i hope we can put all the conversation to rest about something that generated good for the world caused quite a rating situation and if we can make this call come full circle and move forward, Colin Kaepernick ends the season on a team, maybe he does great, gets re-signed, maybe he does that, and he decides he doesn't want to do it anymore, I think it would be good for both parties to get that done. I just hope Colin Kaepernick performs very well. Schefter's saying he doesn't know if the workout's going to happen. It's like, well, if the workout doesn't happen, Kaepernick needs to know that all the people that say, well, he doesn't want to be in the NFL, he just wants to be a distraction, like that is just going to get amped up uh, tenfold. The NFL might be doing this strictly just to say, hey, we want to end the conversation. We want to do it right here. This is how we're doing it. If he doesn't show up, that's on him. That's not on us. That's definitely what it is.